Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to try to answer some of the most commonly asked questions while uh, assembling our Smith valves. One of the questions that's commonly asked is what would happen if you remove the base before you remove the cap? Well, one of the things is that when you have the cap torqued down on the valve, you actually have spring pressure on the valve. So whenever you remove the base first, you're going to still have pressure against the plunger uh, inside of the valve. We suggest that you take the cap off first so you can take that pressure from the internal uh, parts of the valve so you can disassemble the valve completely without any issues. Of course, I can show you that if you do that, what would happen uh, if you remove the base before you take the cap off. So this is our terror valve and the base is removed, but we still have spring pressure on the internals of the valve. And what that does is, if you look at the seat of the valve right here, the spring pressure is actually pushing the seat out of the valve. So in order for that not to happen, and for, in order for you not to have pressure on the seat, we suggest that you take the cap off first of the valves and then release the pressure before continuing to, uh, to disassemble the valve. What would happen if you torque the cap down first before you put the base on? What happens when you do that is it Again, you have spring pressure against the internal parts of the valve. And if you would notice, you would actually see that the plunger that's inside of the valve is actually protruding past the sleeve. So when that happens, if you're, continuous, if you're continuing to try to assemble the valve, you won't be able to put the seat in the way it should go in. It should be flush with the surface of the, the valve cylinder, but if you put the cap on first, you won't be able to put the seat in properly and you have you risk damaging the seat once you tar the base down on the valve. What would happen if you installed the seat of the valve upside down? If you look at the seats of the valve, uh, you're going to notice that there's a pitch on one side and there's a flat side. You can literally put the seat in it upside down and you can test the valve and the valve initially will still seal but it won't for very long. You will get a false indication that you put the seat in correctly and then maybe a few minutes later or a few hours later you're going to find out that the valve is leaking. You're going to have air bypassing uh, and going through the valve and it will be because the, the, the seat was not installed properly. So you want to try to make sure that you put the seat in the correct direction so the plunger and the seat were made up together and form a seal so you would not have leaks in the valve in the future. Okay, another commonly asked question is what would happen if you do not tighten the bolts down in the cap or the base in a cross section. What could happen if you do that is you risk stripping the threads in the cylinder and you might ruin the cylinder. 
okay? We suggest that you tighten the bolts down in a cross pattern and then go back over them and pull it down some more. That way you'll be pulling the cap down evenly and that way you, you will minimize the risk of uh, stripping your threads inside your cylinder because if you, if you do that then you ruin your cylinder and then you have a real big issue. So tighten, we suggest, cross tighten the bolts, uh, not all the way down initially, but maybe almost, and then go back and tighten them again in a cross fashion, and then tighten them once more just to make sure that they're snug. And that way you don't risk damaging the cylinder of the valve. It's kind of puts you in the mind of uh, putting a tire on a car when you it is suggested when you put that wheel on you want to tighten the lugs in a cross fashion fashion also because when you do that you pull the wheel in evenly and that way you won't have the wheel in a crooked position or leaning position once you finish torquing the, the, the rim down Another commonly asked question is, can the plunger seal be installed into the valve using the sleeve and install both pieces at the same time? I suggest that you do not use the sleeve to install the plunger seal. What you want to do instead is you would like to install the plunger seal by itself first by walking it over the plunger and getting it down inside of the valve body further enough to where you could then use the sleeve and continue to push the, the plunger seal all the way down until it's sitting in the correct place inside of the valve. What happens if you, if you tear the this, this plunger seal is you're going to have leakage issues uh, in the future. So what you want to do is you want to be very careful and not damage the plunger seal while installing it in the valve. One way to do that is to in individually install both pieces and then continue to use the sleeve to push it down all the way down inside of the valve. Another commonly uh, asked question about our Schmidt valves is how do I tighten a Schmidt valve? Again, what you want to do on, on any Schmidt valve is you want to tighten all the bolts in a cross tighten fashion. The reasoning is for that is for to keep the pressure even when you're tightening the, the pieces together. This is a combo valve with a cap and a base. Now, you want to tighten these in a cross fashion because if you would notice, you have a cylinder, a cap, and a base. Where the cylinder meets the cap and the base, it should be flush all the way around. If you do not tighten in a cross fashion and you tighten in a circular fashion, what you risk is the cap and the base being torqued down at an angle and not being in line and then you have a valve that's out of alignment and what happens in that case is uh, the valve won't function properly. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you tighten the, the bolts in a cross fashion and when as, as it relates to a combo valve you want to make sure that you don't have any gaps between the cylinder, the cap, and the base. Uh, and the way that you achieve that is to tighten the bolts in a cross fashion.